I'm so, I'm so a berserk. Oh my job well baby. And of course the crew, um, who else is in the crew who couldn't be here? We got uh Daddy Roar and uh Cassandra and uh Sandman's no longer with us and uh the band. We got a new band now. Uh, I guess we're using our producer now that uh our DJ is over in Atlanta, in Atlanta, Georgia right now and um can't really get to us and don't really have the time to, you know, you know, to work with us. But um, so we go out with Juice then. So that's the band right there. So uh, Freeport, Long Island, Strong Island, Freeport, Long Island. Yeah, me and him came up together with you know from grade school, all that. Still owe me some money from fifth grade when he broke my drumsticks. So I can tell you, tell been rocking for a long time, dude. My mom was in the little stereo back in the days in the living room. You know those, those, those long ones with the TV in it? You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yo, I used to be up under that. I used to be a, I used to literally sit in front of the speaker, listen to the radio, listen to play records and wonder how is that music coming through the needle and out of these speakers? Yeah. I used to sit there and really wonder this. But I, I used to listen to my aunts from the music by the Supreme, Temptation, Marvin Gaye, that whole Motown scene, you know? That's, you know, that's when I pretty much got into, start getting into music, you know. But maybe maybe a little bit before then, because um, my pops used to come and play um, Ray Charles, Hit the Road Jack. That was another one of my joints back uh, in the day. And, and the horse, I don't know if you remember the horse. See, see, high school bands used to play this, when I was down south, in Hardyville, South Carolina, and uh, I had my aunts took me to a football game, and my uncles, and my uncles used to play in the band, Marching band. They played a song called "The Horse." I don't know. If, I don't know. If people might not remember this, but you know that song. Huh? Yeah, man. <laughs> yes, it's a little bit before your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> but. <laughs> How about you, when what was growing up? No, nah, well, um, you know, the earliest memory that I think that I have was my mom's had like, I discovered Jackson 5 records around the house. And I'm like, well, how come I'm just finding this out now? You know, because she'd always, always had them. So then I started listening to, you know, just by proxy, I started playing records 45s. And, and then it was like King Floyd, and it was David Ruffin, and The Temptations, and, and, and um, my, my man. Yeah, James Brown. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. And, um, and then, then it was, um, you had Jazz, Count Basie, and then, like, on, on the radio, we got WWRL, which was an AM station, and they played, like, you know, like what we called R&B in those days. But then I was listening, like, to WABC, too. And so I was, I was listening to Bob Dylan, and I was like, wow, you know, so I mean, so it was like from, from one spectrum to the, you know, well, from one extreme to the other. So it was like to rock, to, to, to you know, like you said, Johnny Cash, I mean, yeah. you name it, you know. Yeah, and plus, you, you know, it sound good, I'm listening to it, you Sly know. Sly so. Stone, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And um, Led Zeppelin, yo. Wilson Pickett, you know what I'm saying? All these cats, yeah, man. You know, Mustang Sally, I remember all that, man. Exactly. I, I, I can't, and I can't, can't forget about my man, I, Rufus Thomas. Yeah. Rufus Thomas. Oh, he was a nut. He you was so mad. He's a fucking chicken, <laughs> yeah. You know, you know Bird up. Between him and James Brown, popcorn and all over the place. Joe Tex. You know, yeah. You know? And it, it was a real groovy time to be a kid, you know, as, as far as music, you know? We were doing, mean, and they were doing, and the older ones, the older, the older teenagers, when we were little, they were doing the, the, uh, the, uh, the funky four corners, mm -hmm. and um, 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 the boogaloo. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, we, we're young, but we're watching them. You know what I'm saying? And they were yeah. like, they get loose doing what they do. <laughs> Yo, man. And then Candy Staten, you know, you know Candy, St Candy Staten, Betty Wright, and uh, I mean, yeah. there's just so many of them. Um, what's the name? Yo, that that chick that worked with James Brown. Your girl. Ben Collins. Yeah. You know? Girl, you know. Yo, it was just some, yo, the, the moments, the, the escorts, the, the unifics. I mean, oh man. Yo, y'all really don't know. I was in Jamaica, Queens. I was in, in, in Southside Jamaica. And I and, and my man had this had, had this, this box playing this tape. And I'm like, yo, yo what's this? You know, they sound like chipmunks. And then, you know, because my, my ears, you know, I had to get used to it. And then I'm like, I heard this dude, and he was da da da. I'm like, who was that? Yo, that's my man, Millie Mel. I'm like, what? I'm like, I didn't know what he was saying or what he was doing, but I knew that's what I wanted to do. From that moment on 
this is what I'm going to do. And then I started to hear other groups and nobody affected me singularly the way Melly Mel. I'm like, yo, I was like, wow. Yeah, he captured us, he captured us, man. Really, because that was the first time I ever heard a rap, you know, that's the first time I heard rapping on a beat. Yes. But I heard somebody say, yes, yes, y'all. Raheem. And, and I, no, I, no, listen, no, I'm serious. I listen, I saw somebody say, yes, yes, y'all, to the beat, y'all. But that was pretty much it. Yeah. They didn't, there was no rhymes. There was no rhyme. But Melly Mel was the first one I heard right, say a rhyme and was making sense. It was actually telling a story yeah. to the beat. But now that now the time has passed, and I look back to James Brown, King Heroin, dude was rhyming. Yeah. A lot, a lot of them were. A lot of them yeah. were rhyming, and yeah, a lot of cats was rhyming, but it wasn't. They just uh, didn't call it that. They didn't know. call it that. Yeah, you know, like the, uh, like the, like even even some of these uh, old uh, Vegas acts, these guys, man, were doing yeah. um like. They were just saying rhymes. Exactly. They were really saying rhymes, but exactly. we didn't know it. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't, wasn't hip hop. Yeah. And not to get ahead of where, you, where you're trying to go, but then it seems like hip hop wasn't necessarily a bad thing or turned that corner until we started doing it. You know what I'm saying? Once we grasped it, and then we had something to do other than fight on corners and, and, and do destructive things, then it was, you know, then it became like a demon, like, like a devil, like, 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 like rock and roll was in the 50s. You know, but if you look at like, like, like Johnny Cash, I mean, a lot of his records was rap records because all he was doing was talking. He wasn't singing. Yeah. Cap Calloway, and he, all that. And exactly. they rhymed. And the rhymes work. You know, I mean, the words rhyme. Yeah, Scatman, Crothers, all, all these dudes, you know? Yeah. You know, another thing, check this out. And, you know, and I got to tell you, The Devil Went Down to Georgia by Charlie Daniels, that's one of my favorite songs in the whole oh, world. Man. You know what I'm saying? Devil went down to Georgia, the, the, the legend of Boggy, Boggy Swamp, and all of that. I'm like, you know this, you know this boy out of the country, straight out of the. the he's no, no, I'm straight out of New York. He's straight out of the ditch. I'm straight out of New York, but, but my mind is, <laughs> my mind, my mind is ever, is ever flowing, ever reaching. You know what I mean? I, I, I gotta hear it all, man. You know, I wanna hear everything, whatever it is. I wanna soak it up. Your son of a is broad minded, man. Trust me. Got it. Very broad minded. Uh -huh. Like, like, like you said, we heard Melly Mel. Yeah. And then we heard that was it. Then we heard the five with him. Oh yeah. When we oh. heard the five with him. And that was so powerful. We was like, yo. And everybody had their own personality. Raheem, Mr. Ness, uh, Cowboy, Creole. Raheem, Creole. They all that. And we used to like, we used to play their records over and over. Again. We, had, we, we used had, to we idolize these them. guys. Yeah. Yeah. So we had our own little group called the Townhouse Three. Exactly. The other cat. The, our singer Pep, yeah, his, Daddy Roy. Of Daddy Roy, it was us three. So we were the townhouse three before we started the circuit. We, um, we did a few. Yeah, we did a few, man. We did, uh, we, uh, and, and it was to a point, like, like when we was on doing this radio, cats didn't, um, cats were looking at them demo tapes of songs, I mean, as actual records. Yeah. They thought that, that the radio was playing it, they were records. You know, so we was like living off that for a yeah. minute. And we didn't you know? do anything to dispel that. You know, you, you put on a flyer, you know, doing this smash, this smash hit, their new record. And he, you know, I, him, him and Chuck D might have rivaled each other when it came to putting the flyer together. Because, you know, just Berserk go home and boom, 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 boom. It's like, yo, yo, child, it's the flyer, what you think? Yo, let it rock, bro. Let's do it, you know? And yeah. Chuck so good, those other flyers. flyer. You know, we used to just go back and forth. Chuck D's flyer.